In this example, it says, calculate delta H reaction for the following reaction, lead plus lead oxide plus sulfuric acid gives you lead sulfate and water using the following reactions. And then we have two reactions. So this is a Hess's law. And Hess's law has really one main focus. It says, if we don't know this value, but we know this value, which we'll call A, this value, which we'll call B, and this value, which we call C, then A plus B plus C is equal to your unknown. So Hess's law basically says, you can make three right turns to make a left. That's all we're really thinking about here. So the thing with Hess's law is that you are provided equations. So it's just kind of like a puzzle. The question is, how do you work on a puzzle? So I tend to look at my two equations, which I'm gonna label the top one as one and the bottom one as two. And then I like to find any object. So in this first equation, I'm gonna highlight things that are in the main equation. So you can see that the sulfite, not present, but the sulfuric acid and the water are. Both of those have been multiplied by two. So we're gonna take equation one, we're gonna multiply by two. So we have two H2SO4, and that, oops, sorry, is equal to two SO3 plus two H2O. And now our delta H reaction is equal to two times 113.0. Because if we have twice as much sulfuric acid, it's gonna cost twice as much energy. And so from here for equation two, I'll pick a different color. So we can see the lead, the lead oxide, and the lead sulfate are all already in the right proportions. So we don't actually have to do anything to equation two. So we're gonna add our lead plus PB, PBO2 plus 2SO3, and that gives me 2PBSO4. And so my delta H is going to just be this negative 775.2. So we want to kind of look over this, and we can see that the sulfates will cancel, and so we would have lead plus PBO2 plus 2H2SO4 gives me two PB, oops, that's a P, PBSO4 plus two H2O. And so this equation that we just wrote exactly matches the one that we're looking for. So the delta H is you just add the values together. And so the delta H for this reaction is negative 549.2 kilojoules. So for Hess's law, it's just a manipulation of the equations that you have and getting them to match what you started with.